Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to today's second episode of CSGO News. If you guys missed this morning's episode, I'll link it down below for all of you. Today was a double upload day and thank you all for the great support. But this video is actually the great stories, or I guess not so great if you guys are iBuyPower fans. It seems as of right now from a direct source at ESPN, that is Jacob Wolf on screen. I'll link his Twitter down below for all of you guys as well. He actually had direct contact with people at both E-League and DreamHack, two of the top CSGO organizers out there as of right now, especially E-League with E-League Season 1 and 2, as well as the last major at Atlanta, I guess a couple majors ago and DreamHack having several events every single year. It was heavily relied upon this and these two organizers actually unbanning the match fixers for this actual movement to go forward. It seems as of right now the hype for I Buy Power and X match fixers like Days, Swag, Steel, and Brax, it seems like those have all kind of faded away with this announcement as apparently according to Jacob Wolf, we had E-League on top of that DreamHack going to uphold Valve's ruling and what they mean by that is they're not going to unban match fixers and this actually comes as a pretty big shock. In the past 72 hours, we've had so many YouTubers out there talking about I Buy Power finally being unbanned. We had Mo TV go on a huge rant about all the possible combinations these players could go to and all the possible North American combinations and great teams could be made off of these four players being unbanned, specifically the ex I Buy Power members. And it seems all that has come to a halt as yes, as of right now, it seems that going forward, DreamHack will not unban them as well as that E League won't either. Now, this is actually huge news because I told you guys a couple of videos ago DreamHack has at least 10 events a year of $100,000 plus with their DreamHack circuit event. And on top of that, E-League is one of the most notoriously well-known organizers in the past year and a half. They had E-League Season 1 and 2, as well as their major at Atlanta, all of which were pretty dang good production-wise, and that comes as a huge striking blow to all the hype that was built up. So for all of you I Buy Power fans out there, it seems the progress has been halted. We'll see what happens, though. The only organizers really left as of right now, I think we have FPL and maybe ECS League. It seems that for ESL Pro League next season, not Season 6, but Season 7, they're going to allow those I Buy Power players, so we could maybe fathom an idea that maybe ECS would allow them to because those are two lengthy leagues and that would actually offer a lot of opportunities to those match fixers. So what's going to go on We're going forward? We really have no idea. This is kind of a startling blow to that movement. But even more importantly as well, we had more leak Navi changes. It seems almost 100% as of right now what I'm thinking here guys, in my opinion, but very, very close to 100%. We had the Don tweet out this. It's very likely that Seized and Guardian will both be removed from Navi's roster. We have more information than this though. We also had Guardian himself got kind of angry enough to tweet back at the Don and he said you know what if, if I leave it's my option I'm not being cut and you can almost hear him saying this yourself you know it, just think about it from his eyes guys you can almost hear himself saying hey whoa 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 yes I've been I've been you know, I'm leaving the team but it's it's my option okay just because I was I was cut publicly no no I I was not cut guys I decided to leave on my own on my own decision it almost sounds like he's admitting guilt or he's already been convicted of you he's already knows yes I've been cut he's almost openly admitting it right there if you don't believe that though we also had a PGL interview with Guardian it was leaked just yesterday as well I'll give you guys the gist of the interview here in a second and he pretty much says multiple times we and us two players if we do decide to leave Navi or when we leave Navi so if you guys see the number of times he does say we it almost 100% confirms that it will be Guardian plus one other person most likely sees leaving Navi. So here is that interview with where he talks about the situation. And simple tweet that, that we are changing. So yeah, that's not a secret anymore. Yeah, Navi is changing. I don't know how many players and who. It's still unknown for us two players. It's up to organization, manager, and our coach. Yeah, I mean, sees this. He was trying hard. Like we can't say he didn't try, but he's not the kind of player that can do it. He's not a leader. He doesn't have the leadership skills inside him. Uh, I will just say a simple thing. Uh, even though we will not play for Navi anymore, I don't know what changes will be. If I will not play for Navi or the other player, I hope he will always cheer for us, even in different teams. We sorry we disappoint every one of you. And you know what? I, I regret a few things, but not this one. Well, I told you guys a long time ago that all of you who bought Kenny S gold stickers were dumb because I think when I first came out the story, it was actually $300 was the average price. that Two people out there had bought Kenny S stickers for around $300. The average price as of right now is just above $250. So I still will stick by that statement, but there are even more dumb people out there than you two individual people out there who bought them for $300. As, as of right now, we've actually had two people buy two Kenny S gold stickers for a above $400 a piece. Now, as of right now, this is the only gold sticker that's above $100. Just to give you guys perspective here, the closest one I think being Stewie 2K, then Fallen and Cold Zero. Not even close, not even by a landslide, guys. So the average price for the Kenny S gold sticker falls right around $250, but two of them were bought for above $400. The actual peak price being $441.21. That's that's getting up there with like the highest sticker prices we've ever seen before for a Kenny S gold. So for all of you who want to buy autograph capsules, they're still decently 
decently cheap. They're definitely not the 25 cents they used to be, but you could actually have a chance at opening a $440 skin. I mean, that's just an insane price. So let it, leave a comment down below. Would you guys ever pay that much money for a sticker? Because I, I certainly wouldn't, because once you use it, it's definitely gone. But on top of that, my sticker capsule giveaway does end in two days. I'll link that down below for all of you. So once my capsules are tradable, I'm giving away 50 sticker capsules, and I kind of changed the giveaway. At first, it was going to be 50 individual winners, but that seems like a lot of work. That's a lot of trade offers. So I'm going to change it to 10 winners of five capsules. So I hope you guys don't mind that. I'm going to choose still 10 winners, a lot of winners. So just for all of you out there who are worried about my sticker capsule giveaway, that will end in two days' time. Now, again, thank you all so much for my first video support. I've been in constant talk with CSGO Swap. If you guys notice the new, the new outlay here, I love it. One of my good friends out there, actually, Derek, made me this overlay. So I'm not being paid for this overlay for CSGO Swap, but I love it. It's so sick. And thank you to all of you guys who have used my affiliate code down below. We broke 600 users last video, so I appreciate that very much. Now, bouncing off to our last story, though, I do want to talk about community questions, and I do have two of you those actual questions for you guys today. Thank you for commenting questions down below. I love answering these kind of things. All right, let's keep it short and simple. The first of which, this guy asked me a couple videos ago, where is AZK? As of right now, it's very likely AZK has returned from the Overwatch scene. He was an Overwatch pro for quite some time. I think a lot of us watching these videos kind of agree that the Overwatch tournament scene and pro scene is slowly dying out. Some of you guys disagreed. Most of you guys agree with me on that. So I think it's very likely, especially with uh, Swag saying several times that AZK will play with him or Days, and Swag also saying, don't worry, AZK is back to CSGO. He is coming back, and so he's been playing He's been playing scrims and pugs. So AZK is in the CSGO scene. He's kind of wandering around, though. You might see him from stream to stream. Now, on top of that, answering a second question, because we're going to keep it short here, where is Freeze? Someone asked me about that, the former Trick Esport member. If you guys remember that, that lineup for Trick Esports, the Danish team, earlier this summer decided not to re-sign those guys. All of those guys are pretty high tier in the Danish scene, at least, and they're very, very good players. Freeze himself is a very good Danish offer, and that leaves him as a pretty good option for Team Rogue. That's Hiko's team, and he is very likely to be signed as Hiko did announce yesterday. You guys let me know about this. He wants to sign a European player for his fifth member, and they do need an offer. So Freeze is that option, but as of right now, he's playing for a lower tier friends team. I think it's called Gux and Friends, but yeah, he was formerly of Trick Esports. Now he's on a lower tier team, but he should be signed, I think, sometime soon to some team out there who has interest. As always, guys, hope you all enjoyed today's episode of CSK News. I have been putting in a lot of work this week, and I am, I am seriously tired, but thank you all for the great comments and the great likes. All my videos have been breaking insane like amounts, and I seriously can't thank you guys enough so much for the growth of this channel. We've grown more this the past two weeks than I have in the past year, and I seriously, thank you very much, guys. I do appreciate that. I will see you all hopefully tomorrow. I might take tomorrow off. I'll see you guys in a couple days with some more great CSGO news. A lot of great things happening right now. A lot of speculation out there, so we'll see what happens in the future. As always, live, love, laugh, lot. My name is Jake. I like you. I'm not going to yell this outro, but I'm just going to say goodbye.